Intel's team has done what many have said couldn't be done, the first 10 nanometer device in production. They've scaled another node with greater density and more performance per watt. Most importantly, they did all of this with lower cost per transistor. In other words, Moore's Law is still alive and well. Mark Bohr, who is Senior Fellow in Intel's Technology and Manufacturing Group and Director of Process Architecture and Integration, is back to talk about what's different about 10 nanometer versus 14 nanometer and what's so special about it. We're going to find out what's coming next and what he really thinks about Moore's Law. This is We Vision, and I'm Dan Hutchison. Welcome to the program, Mark. Thank you, Dan. Glad to be here. So, you've often been mistaken and, and quoted out of context about maybe Moore's Law uh, dying or slowing down, <laughs> and it, it was a popular thing that it ended at 28 nanometer, but you've blown well past, past 28 nanometer. Uh, let me put it in your words. What do you really believe about Moore's Law? Well, although some articles uh, maybe don't get it quite right, uh, my belief, Intel's belief, is that Moore's Law is still uh, alive and, and well, at least at Intel. So uh, uh, when we think about it, there's a lot of also mistaken stuff about what Moore's Law really is. At the end of the day, if you read his paper, it was originally about density. Now, as we've gone from planar to fins, what does that does that really change the density equation, or does it just change how we used to measure a node versus how we measure it today? Well, we have changed how we measure density. And in the past, maybe all we focused on was was gate pitch, transistor gate pitch. Uh, uh, but now I think uh, the right metric uh, to really estimate uh, uh, logic density is uh, the product of gate pitch and logic cell height. So that's what we use now to judge our technologies and, and their density. And um, at the end of the day, when you map what you're doing against what everyone else is doing, you can really see exactly where everyone's density is. And you can also see uh, uh, what you like to call, uh, you have a true 10 nanometer versus opposed to some of the other marketing 10 nanometers, and, and, and density really shows the difference ultimately, right? Well, everybody seems to be using uh, about the same node names these days, uh, whether it's a uh, 14 nanometers or 10 nanometers or maybe even 7 nanometers. But when you uh, look under the hood, so to speak, and when you look at, at some other uh, dimensions for gate pitch, metal pitch, uh, pin pitch, uh, and uh, cell height, logic cell height, uh, I think uh, you'll recognize that not all 10 nanometer technologies are the same. Uh, I think Intel has a, a true 10 nanometer technology uh, delivering the expected uh, density improvement.